Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and I'm here today with a fresh new Nubia watch, the successor to the original Nubia Alpha smartwatch with its funky innovative curved screen design. Now the Nubia watch has just hit Indiegogo, I'll add all of the uh, information and links down in the description below so go check that out. But right now what I'm going to do, get it fully unboxed and take you on a tour of the hardware and the software so you know exactly what to expect. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now I'm definitely a sucker for anything that's a bit different to the norm, so I'm very intrigued to see how the Nubia watch has turned out. There's the actual watch itself. Oh, quite a heavy bugger. Um, let's just stick that aside and see what else you get in the box here. Uh, so first of all, we've got the documentation, which is 100% not in English, but don't worry, we'll stumble through it somehow, kiddies. We've got your proprietary charging dock, which is a micro USB, so I believe it's quite dinky itself, the actual dock. And we've also got a spare strap by the looks of it as well. We'll check that out more in a second. So there is the Nubia watch in all of its glory, and as you can see, a very unique design indeed. An absolutely massive display, 4.01 inches, as you see, curving right the way around the sides there. And the Nubia watch weighs a rather heavy 98 grams as well, so it's got twice the heft of your standard smartwatch, and even of, you know, your traditional sort of Swiss-made timepieces. Not that it'll be a problem for me with my enormously beefy biceps, of course. And according to Nubia, that casing is actually made from a hybrid of ceramic and stainless steel, which would go quite some way to explain the heft. As you can see there, it's got quite a chunky finish to it as well. Meanwhile, the actual display is made from shot glass, apparently. That's shot with a C, not shot glass as in tequila slammers. And apparently that just offers the right blend of flexibility, so the display can actually curve right the way around the wrist like so, but also stay nice and strong as well, so hopefully won't shatter on a strong impact and hopefully won't scratch up a storm either. So without further ado, let's actually try this thing on, see how it fits. You know what, that actually fits all right. It's fairly snug. The silicone straps are nice and soft against the skin. That'll definitely do the job. But as you can see there, yes, definitely a, a bit of a chunky monkey. But then, to be fair, most smartwatches are. And if you want to, you can actually change the straps as well. As you can see, there's a dinky little switch just on the inside there. You just gotta push that in and the strap will pop right out. And then if you need it, you've got the bigger strap bundled there in the box as well, which is always good. Thankfully, with my spindly little toddler wrists, uh, that's not really necessary. As far as water resistance goes, the Nubia watch is IP54 splash resistance. So that means don't go taking it into the swimming pool with you or anything like that, but it'll be absolutely fine if you're caught in a bit of inclement British weather. Okay, so pretty interesting design, but let's actually get the Nubia watch all set up and have a proper play around with it. And what you'll need to do at this point is you'll need to download the Nubia Smartware app, either from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, depending on whether you're using Android or an iPhone. And I'll tell you what, this screen was definitely made for ridiculously lengthy T's and C's. It would take about three years to scroll to the bottom of this absolute beast on a standard smartwatch. It just never ends. Bloody hell. It's the size of War and Peace. Oh, finally. Right, so once you've downloaded that Nubia Wear app, what you'll then want to do is scan the QR code that pops up on your Nubia watch. And get it just right. Oh, there we go. Just accept the pairing. And that's it, nice and straightforward. Choose you wear and habits. So I'm gonna have mine on my left wrist. Just gotta enter all of your personal information, your birthday, your height, your weight, all that kind of shenanigans. You got full notification support on the Nubia watch as well. You gotta actually specify which apps are allowed to send you notifications on the watch so you're not getting pestered every five seconds by every last little thing. And then that's it done. Setup process, very simple and straightforward and very quick as well. Only took about five minutes in total. And the actual Nubia app interface looks pretty simple as well. As you can see there, you got a quick glance at the step count, bugger all so far, your heart rate and how much you've slept. And then if you dive into settings as well, you can also configure various elements of the watch through there. So you can check your remaining battery life and how much storage you've got left. You can copy music and photos to your watch, all kinds of stuff. So the actual software running on the Nubia watch is proprietary. It's of Nubia's own design, which is good because the likes of Wear OS wouldn't really make full use of that funky curved screen design. So as you can see there, the watch face actually fills the, uh, the entire display when you switch the phone on, which is quite nifty. You've got a side mounted button here, which you just give a quick tap in order to actually turn on that display. If you then tap the button again, you'll open up the, uh, the main apps menu basically, which you can also access simply by swiping left or right from that main watch face as well. And all the sort of major functionality you'd expect in the Nubia watch is present and correct. So for instance, you can actually make calls directly through the watch itself. You've got a built-in mic and a speaker on there. So you can do your whole Buck Rogers thing of just talking at your wrist. As you can see there as well, it's just simply dialing a number. Uh, you can 
actually just quickly access your contacts as well. They'll have to actually get that all synced up. You've also got a messaging app on there. And then of course, your obligatory fitness stuff as well. So if you dive into sports, for instance, got a good bit of GPS built in to the Nubia watch. As you can see there, can do some basic tracking. So a bit of free workout, outdoor walking, indoor running or outdoor running. So yeah, the variety there is pretty limited, but at least you've got the free workout if you just want to basically track how much uh, motion you are creating with your body. And when you do select something, uh, as you can see then, it'll then keep track of the calories burned, uh, amount of time you've been doing the exercise and the distance you may have covered using a bit of GPS action. Three, two, one. Uh. As you can see, there, all your stats will be there, your heart rate as well, because you've got a built-in heart rate monitor and everything. Uh, and at any point, you can pause if you just need to catch your breath, have a sip of water, down a couple of shots of whiskey or whatever, and then two quick taps on the stop when you're finished. At any point, you can get back to the previous screen just by swiping uh, like so. And then if you go to the health app, uh, you've got basic tracking for all of your general stats throughout the day. So as you can see, your heart rate, your sleep, and again, all the kind of stuff you can get through the actual phone app. And at any point, you can check your uh, current pulse as well. I'm clearly really enjoying the Nubia watch so far because that is rather high. You've also got this uh, marquee mode, which appears to be some kind of uh, matrix style screensaver. I'm not really sure what's going on here. You've also got a funny fedge compass on there as well. Handy if you're a boy scout lost in the woods or something. And you've also got all the other standard smartwatch features as well, such as access to your schedule. You've got a stopwatch and an alarm feature, and you can search for your phone as well if you happen to have lost it down the back of the sofa or something. And as I mentioned before, you can sync up your music with the Nubia watch as well. So once you've got that downloaded onto the watch's storage, you'll be able to play your uh, tunes directly through that. From that main watch face, you can swipe down and that'll access a bunch of quick toggle sofas as you've got the built-in Bluetooth there. You can play around with the screen brightness, make it super, super bright or really, really dim. And on that top brightness, you should have absolutely no problem seeing that outdoors when you're pounding the pavement or whatever. Definitely super, super bright. And you can also uh, silence the watch if you want. You've got your uh, do not disturb night mode uh, style effort as well. And if you swipe up from the main clock face, then that, that's how you access your notifications. As you can see, nothing has popped in just yet and of course you've got a variety of clock faces that you can choose from as well as usual just long press on that standard clock face and you can choose from a whole selection of others both analog and digital to suit your own personal preferences at a quick count there's around 30 in total and as you can see some of them do actually list some information such as how many steps you've taken throughout the day stuff like that otherwise you can just have the time and date nice and simple if that's all you need as a massive geek i'm definitely liking the tetris style one so i think i'll stick with that it's just a shame that you can't actually play a game of tetris on it that would be awesome I've got to say, I'm loving that 4.01 inch AMOLED display as well. Nice and punchy. As you can see, those colors really do shine through. Uh, nice and bright, as I said before, on that top uh, brightness level. And it's a 960 by 192 uh, pixel resolution, which means you get around sort of 244 pixels per inch. Certainly seems nice and sharp. Even quite small text coming through quite cleanly. And I was a little bit worried when Nubia told me that the watch was powered by a Snapdragonware 2100 chipset because it's quite a few years old now. It's been surpassed by the likes of the 3100, the 3300. But touch wood, you're swipes instantly uh, get a response here. Uh, you're not hanging around waiting for anything to happen. That's probably helped by the fact that you've actually got a full gig of RAM uh, in this thing as well, as well as the uh, eight gigabytes of storage space. What will also be interesting to see is how well the battery life holds up on the Nubia watch as well. It's a 425 milliamp battery packed in here. And of course, it's got this massive AMOLED display to power. So I'm not entirely sure it'll last beyond a full day. You probably end up charging it every night. And Nubia reckons you can get seven days of life if you do activate the power saver mode here in the settings. But as you can see there, this basically just displays the time and that's basically it. Oh, and the date as well. Hooray. So that's basically only good if you want to use the Nubia watch as literally a watch and uh, get rid of all of that smart functionality. You then long hold the power button and you're back into the smartwatch itself. And according to Nubia, it'll take about 85 minutes to fully charge when you slap it on the old dock. If you have a quick gander at the settings as well, there's a few bits of the Nubia watch that you can personalize right here. So we dive on into system. As you can see, you can pair up to different phones. You can do uh, system updates direct through the watch itself. You've got gesture support as well, limited of course, just to a, a wrist raise to wake the screen. You can change your daily step target, which frankly at the moment for me is about 500 steps because I barely leave the house. I mean, we're basically talking 10 toilet trips a day. That's pretty much the limit of my exercise. You can mess around with the screen off time. Uh, again, all the way up to uh, never turn off which will of course absolutely slay your battery life there's also a show clock when screen off feature and uh, this just allows you to basically show a basic clock face when you raise your wrist uh, to check the time and you've got a small selection there that you can choose from so let's go with this little number here and then as you can see with that active now when i raise my wrist 
will just check out the time instead of actually loading into uh, the main UI. And finally, from within those settings, you can activate or deactivate GPS. You can turn on an airplane mode. And as you can see there, you can dive into your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi settings as well. And there you have it. That right there is the Nubia watch in a nutshell. So as I say, the Indiegogo campaign is now live. So if you find yourself intrigued, definitely go check that out by following the link in the description below. And while the Nubia watch doesn't do anything different that other small watches can't already do, it certainly does it with plenty of style, that's for sure. So if you want something that's going to start some conversations down the pub, this will probably do the job. So definitely please let me know what you think down in the comments below. It'd be great to, uh, to see what the general consensus is on this bad boy. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers!